everyone! I have another haul for you guys. I know I just posted one not too long ago, but I'm really focusing on building up my shop and listing more items and stuff, so I'm buying a bunch of stuff so I have the potential to make a bunch of jewelry and clay items to sell. So if you haven't ever checked out my shop or didn't know I have one, the link to my Etsy shop is in the down bar. And you can also message me here on YouTube and we can set up an order that way so just let me know. This haul has stuff from all the major craft stores in my area Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joanne Fabrics. I also have some stuff from Barnes & Noble because I have gift cards for there and from Home Depot because I want to start a new project. By the time you guys watch this the sale at Michaels will have ended so I know this is kinda of bad timing but Oh, school has been ridiculous, and I just, I had no time to film this entire week. I only have a year left, and then I am out of there, and I'm never looking back. So anyway, at Michael's, they had this sale, and polymer clay was 99 cents a block, and Craft Smart paint in these big acrylic paint tubes, 8 ounces. This was also 99 cents. I got paint in brown, gold, white and silver, and light pink, black, and citron which is a really pretty lime green. Then I used my 40% off coupon to get some Satin Glaze by Sculpey. And this just means that it's more of a matte finish, not as shiny as the Gloss Glaze. And then I think there's 11 bars of clay here. Anyway, I got some translucent to try out. Tan brown, silver yellow, string bean green, uh, red hot red, regular red, just orange, dusty rose, I really like this pink color, dusty rose, and did I say white? Joanne Fabrics, I just got a few things because um, I'm, I want to get some puffy paint with my 50% off coupon, but it was on sale, so I'm going to wait till next week and then I can use the coupon on it, and instead of $20 for this giant pack, it's going to be 10 I got some erasers for $0.50 cents on clearance, and I'm probably going to make jewelry out of them. I may do a video on how to make eraser jewelry. I got some findings, and I believe these are 40% off. I don't know how much they were, though. I got some pom-poms for 50 cents, and then I used my 40% off coupon on some bead soup, and I actually, I took a lot of the findings and charms out of this already, because I was sorting my beads, and I wanted to put them in my jewelry container. But anyway, this is a really good deal. Hobby Lobby, I actually have a bag for this one. I got some foam. And this is back in the sewing section. It's $2.99. Um, I'm actually, I want to make some squishies because those have become so, like, popular and stuff. And I see them every, everywhere. I, I just, I see them everywhere. I turn on the computer and the squishy pops up. Not really. But they're just super cute. I'm not sure if all you guys have heard of them, but basically it's like a stress ball. Do you know those little stress balls. They've been around for years. It's not like people have made up anything new, but they're kind of coming back now, and you can get keychains that are little squishy donuts. I used to have a squishy fish at my house, and um, we were babysitting one day, and this little boy, he's like, can I play with the fish? And, um, you know, I walked out of the room for a second. Literally, like, I come back, and this fish is ripped to shreds on our carpet. Yeah, the fish is kind of gone. We're still on Hobby Lobby, though. I got these Princess Party charms. They're actually clip-on earrings for party favors. But I am going to rip the cute little charms off and use them for jewelry. Yep, yep, yep. I got some more packs of bows, and I use these on my bow necklaces that I sell. I got some plastic duffy charms, and I don't know what section. These were on clearance, but it says they're like party favor things, so they might be in like party aisles. I got a cute little bag of pom-poms, and I'll probably make a bracelet out of these and do a tutorial. I got some mini glitter shapes. I also got some decorating tips from the baking aisle, and I do like baking and stuff, but I don't do it often. These are actually for a project that will be in an upcoming video. I went to Home Depot, and let me tell you, that was an experience, going to Home Depot by myself, because I've been there before, but it's just so big, and I don't know where anything is. I am totally out of my element. Here I come in all cutesy-cutesy and dressed up and makeup and all this stuff, and I'm like, uh, could you tell me where this is, please? They're right over there, ma'am. 
I, I don't know. People just don't call me ma'am very much. It's just kind of weird. Anyway, I went to Home Depot to get some silicone, which is this stuff, because I want to do, like, deco done and stuff like that. No, it's really, it's for deco done and this is the kind I got. It's, uh, this. You can read it. This is not the tube that most people use here on YouTube. I've seen people who have, like, the squeeze tube, and they probably get it from, like, Walmart or something like that. I don't know why Home Depot wouldn't have, like, a little squeeze tube, but I didn't see it in this brand there, or this type of e-brand there. Anyway, I, um, need a caulking gun to use these, I guess. And we do have one of those around my house, so that will be fine. Got these two fifty dollars apiece, which I think... This is good. I think the last while, and I couldn't help but grab some paint strips. I have uh, a paint strip creations video and tutorial video, if you guys are interested in that. And I really want to go back and pick up more of these. How cool would that be to just have these arranged in a circular pattern and like hang up as a decoration or something? Oh, it's my paper punch art video, by the way. If you have not seen that, then Barnes and Noble, I had a gift card. Here is a little journal notebook thing that I don't know what I'm going to write in, but yeah, I think it's cute. Then I saw Metallic Colored Pencils, their Faber-Castell brand. I also got some grippy watercolor pencils, and it says that there's a free paintbrush in there. So yeah, here's, there's 24 in here, and yeah, I just, I haven't used colored pencils in a while, so hopefully I'll test them out sometime. And then I got this pencil sharpener that opens up, and it says all this fun stuff on the back, and it sharpens triangular pencils, which these watercolor pencils are triangular. They're supposed to help with grip and holding it and stuff. Finally, I got this lovely CD, which I don't know how many of you know who Prince is, because he is mainly popular in the 80s, but I absolutely adore 80s music, and I listen to it so much. It's ridiculous. Um, the one night, I put it on my Facebook as a status, but I listened to every single song on here while I was like working on updating my shop. There's 56 songs on here. So yeah, I listened to 56 Prince songs in a row. It was pretty amazing. How awesome am I for getting <laughs> parental advisory CD? <laughs> I was shopping with my mom too. I'm like, I'm 21, you can't do anything about it. And I recently made a purchase off of Etsy. Um, this is, I forget what the shop was, but I can um, post it in the down bar if any of you are interested. But it's from Malaysia, they're cute little stamps. I got six clay canes. I really only purchased five of them, and then I got one free, which is, I think, a pretty good deal. I'm not going to get into making canes, because I feel like this would take me forever to do. Like, me making a Hello Kitty out of clay into a cane would just take me so long, it wouldn't even be worth it. So, having these, like, to be able to cut up and, like, I could decorate cupcakes with them, I could do deco done with them, and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, did I tell you? I mean, you can probably see what they are, but a bow, a strawberry, an orange, another bow, a Hello Kitty, and then a groovy flower. For the final part of this haul, I'm including a few things that I bought from two different Etsy shops. Here's the first shop I bought from. It's Little Dove Supplies, and it has really cute charms and rhinestones that I got. Oh, by the way, I just painted my nails. Um, I painted them black and then I put copper over them and I put the little dots of yellow and green. For the thumb I have like a heart and some lines. Over here I have lines and a heart in yellow and then here's the other nails and there's a little rhinestone on my middle fingers. And again, just painted my nails so my, my fingers are really really messy, that's what sometimes happens. So. No big deal. From the Little Dove Supply Shop, I got this wheel of rhinestones, and it comes with all different colors, and these are super, super tiny rhinestones that you can use for nail art, for deco den, for Sculpey Clay, you can put it on your cupcakes or creations or whatever, um, scrapbooking, really anything that you can think of to use it for. I got these cute metal giraffe charms for jewelry making. I got these really cute bow connector charms. 
they're actually fabric bows connected to metal so they're super cute I think with every purchase she gives you this cute grab bag so there's some beads charms and some little eye pins in there and then from a different shop which I forget the name of so what I'm gonna have you do is if you want these just search cell phone lanyard um, I call them cell phone leash because that's what it said on the package I bought from Walmart a few years ago but anyway I got a hundred of these and I think they're like six or seven dollars I don't know but I got a hundred of them and it's a really good deal they come with ten different colors ten of each color and they have a split ring on all of them which is like a jump ring but it's a little different and um, anyway yeah if you get these at the store they're probably gonna be twelve in a pack for I don't know maybe two dollars so I think this is a good deal alrighty so that's all for the haul that's, that's all for the haul and oh yeah let's see here Sarah number four soccer I was a soccer player and a track runner I ran 400s mainly and 4x4 four four. and I live in Ohio so my team for the 4x4 four four, two years in a row we went to Columbus for the big state track meet because we qualified for it so yeah it was super cool anyway you guys have a great day and I will see you soon bye Ooh. Look at all the scalpy. Beautiful, beautiful. Did I say a dollar before or 99 cents? Anyway, basically the same thing. I'm sure you can find a penny walking outside. I do all the time.